Welcome to the Hardcore Closer Podcast. I'm Ryan Steumann, founder of HardcoreCloser.com, and this podcast is all about helping you, the salesperson, close more sales. And look, whether you're selling cars, homes, financial services, consulting, whatever it is that you sell, this podcast is dedicated to help you generate higher quality leads, increase your closing ratios, and show you how to charge premium fees for the items you sell so you can get paid what's your worth. What's up, Closer Nation? Welcome to episode 91 of the Hardcore Closer Podcast, and I am your host, Ryan Stewart. I'm glad that you're here. If it's your first time, be sure to check out the previous episodes. There's at least 90, depending on what point you're watching this in the future. And then here's the thing. Wait for it. Wait for it. If you've been around for a minute, I need you to do me that favor and leave me a review on iTunes. Hell, you're probably listening to this in the podcast app anyway. And here's the thing. It's not about, oh, look at me. I want everybody to hear my voice. And uh, I don't think my voice is that good anyway. Thank you, first of all, for showing up here and enduring this raspy thing that I have as a voice. But second of all, it helps me reach people. Because see, listen, I dedicate hours. Like, just so you know, this is the second time I'm recording this fucking show today because Low Energy Robert fucked the last one up, right? But I'm still here. I'm still recording. I'm still making it happen for you guys. Why? Because I want to bring value to 300 million people's lives. But I need your help to be able to do that. I can't do it on my own. I just can't shake that many hands, but you can shake hands for me. You can share this. You can leave me a review. All those things help out a ton. Posting this on Facebook, posting it on LinkedIn, tweeting it out, putting it on the Flickr, the Tumblr, the Mumbler, the Tinder, the Bumble, like whatever you want to put it on. And strangely enough, those are all real websites. And uh, I thought I was making up words, but I'm like, oh, shit, no, that really exists. Oh, shit, so does that. But anyway, it it helps to show a ton, but more importantly, it helps sales professionals because here's the thing. I haven't ever told anybody this before. At least I don't think you know, I've told anybody, any of the podcast listeners anyway. But I trick you. You know, really, it's it's true. I'm your typical fucking trick salesperson full of fucking trickery. Because I, I trick you into thinking that this is about business, right? I, like I get you in here and I'm like, oh, look, you can make some money in business. And you're like, oh, yeah, look at this. I can make some money in business. But what's really happening is I'm changing your mindset. And here's the beautiful part about this. When you change your mind, change your entire life. And I rope you in with more money because I know, like the preacher man told me one time when I was young, he said, there's two things that reveal who you really are the more you have. One of them's money, right? We get fuck you money. And some people, they get money, they become pieces of shit. We've seen people get rich and blow it all because they complete pieces of shit they don't know even better. We see a lot of lottery winners do that, a lot of sports and celebrities. I was looking yesterday through this website that got me, and uh, it was one of those like clickbait websites, and it got me, and it was like celebrities now and then and their net worth, and uh, it said years popular on there. Some of them were only popular for a couple of years. They made millions of dollars and then blew it all, and their net worth's like, some of them were net worth's like 30 grand. People that were some of the hottest stars in history at one point. And uh, it was mind boggling. But here's the thing. The reason why I share this is we rope you in with money because we know if you're a good person and we give you money and we teach you how to get money, then you'll magnify the goodness inside you. If you're a piece of shit, we cut you off, right? We got a whole line of pieces of shit that we've cut off over here. But I know this, if a good person gets money, they'll do even more good with it. And that's what I'm trying to help is people magnify the character that already exists within them. And the other thing is alcohol. If you're wondering, the more people drink, the more uh, of, of who they are. Like there's two types of alcoholics. I love you, man. I'll do anything for you, man. You're my fucking boy. And then there's the, you know, I want to fight anybody. Fuck you. <laughs> so those two things reveal your character. Well, I know that if I can rope you in with money and money is going to magnify business, right? Business and money is going to magnify the goodness within you. That goodness is going to leak over into your family, into your neighborhood, into your faith, into your into your other fitness, into other areas too. And that's why I'm asking, see, it's bigger than me. That's why I'm asking you to leave me a review. Hit, hit SoundCloud, share this, put it on social media, all that good stuff. Like my boy, SFC Mike right here, straight shooter. That's what I'm talking about, five stars. He says... I've been a fan of Zig, Brian Tracy, Tom Hopkins, and all the great sales mentors. Ryan does a good job of being real with salespeople and giving practical advice on everything about sales. Keep doing what you're doing, Ryan. We appreciate it. 
is a recruiter. This came, oh, this is fucking cool. It came from a recruiter at the Ohio Army National Guard. Follow them on Instagram. It's SFC Mullen. And uh, allow me to share how they can help you get everything that you want in life. You see, here's the thing. If, if Especially for you, it looks like your name's Mike Mullen. Uh, Mike or, or SFC Mullen, whichever you would, sir, doctor, whatever, Mullen, <laughs> sir, <laughs> thank you for your service, first of all, and the, re- the review. Uh, second of all, send an email to Ryan at Hardcore Closer. And, and fuck it, if it, like anybody out there, there's a military recruiter, send me an email from your military email. It's just the only way that I'm going to give you this training. If you're a military recruiter, I've got a free training for you on how to recruit people. It's free. There's nothing for sale, and it's no gimmicks. It's like a free how to recruit uh, people it's uh, into the military because, look, I believe that the military does two things. A, it keeps guys like me safe. I've never been in the military. They wouldn't take me. Uh, but it keeps guys like me safe. And the second thing is, you know, that it's full of fucking heroes, and it creates discipline inside of those heroes. And so, you know, if I can help you recruit more people into the military to, to keep my family and I and the country safe and, and to create discipline in the next generation of people, because listen, majority of the people that are millionaires have military backgrounds. And so the like military people are generally smart, quick and disciplined enough to do whatever it takes to get because I mean, the military is not works. It's like, oh, we're under budget and we don't have enough time. Make it work. See you later. Right. And if do you could do that when it comes to delivering MREs to starving people or taking fire, driving through the middle of Iraq or whatever the case it is, you fucking for sure, for sure handle business. You know what I'm saying? So uh, so it's pretty, pretty fucking amazing. I want to give you the 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 it's pretty amazing what you do. Thank you for all that. For those of you in the military, but for the recruiters, send an email to Ryan at hardcore dot com. I love y'all, man. You know, I want to hook y'all up with some free training. So uh Here's the thing. Speaking of love, I need some love from you. I just launched my sixth book. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you so much. I launched my sixth book. It's called Sell It and Scale It. Now, this book is the journey that I've had to go through. Because See, I always saw myself as a salesperson. I mean, hell, I staged walkouts at the companies that I worked for and, you know, had all sorts of like, dude, I was a terrible employee. If I had to hire me today, I would fire me. Fuck me. But I was on team salespeople. I, w- I would have made a hell of a union leader. Like if we salespeople ever decided to create a union, I got you guys. I fucking got you. Nobody cares more about y'all than me. I'm serious. You mama, nobody. I fucking care about this community. And uh, and I've been fighting for salespeople even in the corporate settings for a long time. And uh, and so the reason why I share all that is this book, Sell It Scale It, is my journey from being like a salesperson and like that's what I identified as like there's big talk right now about genders and all that shit. It's like, well, I don't identify. Who are you to assume my gender? All that bullshit, right? But like I identify as a salesperson, but yet my title and my business cards and, and the papers and all the stuff that I own says CEO, but I never really felt like a CEO because I was always a salesperson. I'm like on the hustle, the daily sales and shit like that. And it was a lot for me to come into. And it took years of me like hard work and discipline to even learn enough to even consider myself a CEO and my experiences firsthand are poured out in this book. So this isn't like a lot of business books. They tell you shit that you learn like on a collegiate level and things of that nature. This book is a book comprised of stories that will a, they'll lock you in, they'll keep your attention, but B they're going to educate you in a way like the streets educated me. Uh, you're going to love this book. Just go to Amazon. It's the only place you can find it. It's, it's less than 10 bucks. It's like nine ninety nine, of course. Right. And uh, just go over to Amazon, sell it and scale it, or you can search my name, Ryan Stuman. There's all, all my books. I recommend picking them all up and because uh, they're all fucking awesome. You'll love them. So, uh, yeah, head over to Amazon, pick up my latest book. Help me uh, help be a part of making my sixth best-selling book. I appreciate that. All right, let's jump into the episode. Five keys to a successful funnel. Now, if you're in Funnel Closer, which is uh, our latest program at Break Free Academy, if you're in the Funnel Closer program, this is going to be awesome for you. I talked about this in week two. So when you log into the module, you go to module one, uh, the second training. I talked about this in detail, but this is going to be a good, quick brain refresher for you. For those of you that are in the funnel closer programs, especially if you haven't watched that uh, training yet, this will this will give you a quick insight to it. Not quick, but this will give you a good insight to it as well. For those of you that aren't in funnel closer, this is going to help you out as well, especially if you're building your own sales funnel. And I'll explain what a sales funnel is in a minute for those of you that don't know. Uh, but especially for those of you that uh, – are, are building your own sales funnel. This is going to help you out a lot 
too. But for those of you that aren't in the funnel closer program, like it's the easiest way that I know of right now for you to make two to five thousand dollars a month. And uh, just head over to funnelcloser.com and check that out, man. That webinar is game changing. It is game changing, and the investment that you make is tax deductible. Uh, so make sure that you do that for the end of the year because you're gonna have to pay uh, Uncle Sam that amount of money if you're any kind of salesperson. Anyways, you might as well give me some of it. So let's talk about five keys to a successful sales funnel. The first thing is the hook. Communication consists of 45% body language, 45% tonality, and 10% words. So if you write a hook, it has to be bad to the bone. It has to, especially if you are using an ad on Facebook or a, a sales funnel uh, web page that's just a picture of something with words. That is the hardest sale to make. So it has to be a compelling offer. And so I call offers hooks, same thing. So what I do to create a good hook, an irresistible offer is follow the simple David Ogilvy formula of how to get X without having to do Y. You see X representing what the person wants, Y representing what they don't want. Let me give you some examples here. How to make a million dollars without having to get out of bed every day. How to have a giant penis with just taking pills every day. How to have the woman of your dreams without needing six pack abs or rock hard biceps. How to get into your dream home with no money down and low monthly payments. You see, those are all examples of how to get Y or how to get X without having to do Y. X represent what they want, right? The dream house. Y represent what they don't want, a large down payment and a huge monthly payment. And in the, you know, X representing the woman of your dreams, Y representing the fact that you don't have to exercise or take steroids or do anything else or have to look a certain way to be able to attract that woman. That's an irresistible offer, ladies and gentlemen. So whatever it is that you're selling, following that formula, listen, this is what I do is keep shit simple. That's what I'm known for. That's why people get success with me. That's why they get results with me. That's why people stay with me. My clients, some of them have been with me for three, four years. I haven't even been doing this. Uh, much longer than that. And so the reason why I say this is because I get results from people because I can take big complex things and break them down into simple, understandable things because I know KISS, keeping it simple sales. And since keeping it simple sales, a lot of times smart people like you that tend to listen to podcasts like this, we tend to overcomplicate things which fucks it up in the simpleton minds out there that don't understand things which cost you sales, cost you money, and keep you from living a life of full potential. So don't discredit my how to get X without Y equation here and go, well, that's fucking too simple. It won't work for my people. That's bullshit. It will. Number two is the reinforcement. Well, so let me, let me say this about the hook too. Since it's 45, 45, 10, 45% 45 tonality, 45% body language, 10% words. If you have the ability to run a video for the hook, that's why commercials on TV are so powerful. But if you have the ability to run a TV ad with the hook or a video ad with the hook, that's even better because then they can hear your tonality. They can see your body language and capture the words. Because it's not about the words, because I could be like, yo, fuck you. Or I could be like, fuck you. Right? You see, it's the same thing. But one of them means something very serious. We might be about to fight, or the other is completely sarcastic. So being able to decipher that tonality in your body language in a video helps boost that a lot. Step two, uh, the next key is the reinforcement. So what I like to do is that like the tofu, the top of the funnel, which is going to be the ad, the opt-in page. And, uh, and, and the next step's taken, and then there's a transition into the bottom of the funnel. Bufu, buy us, fuck you. Bufu, buy us, fuck you. Remember that from how high? Anyway, the tofu, the top of the funnel is the hook, right? The advertisement, and then the reinforcement. So let's say somebody clicks on your landing page. And by the way, if you're not using uh, lead pages, go to hardcorecloser.com forward slash LP. Or if you want to use ClickFunnels, you can go to hardcorecloser.com forward slash CF and uh, sign up for ClickFunnels. Do so through my affiliate link. Don't let Russell Brunson make all the money. Share some with me since I referred you over there. Hardcorecloser.com L slash LP for lead pages slash CF for ClickFunnels. So the reinforcement is, okay, so here's this irresistible offer, how to have the woman of your dreams without needing rock hard abs or uh, bulging biceps. The reinforcement is, okay, thank you. We've got your information. Now here's what you can do. In my funnel, like elevator to the top.com, it's like how to get number one best selling sales book absolutely free. That's right. That's how to get X, the value that you want without Y, the shit you don't want to pay for. But once they get there, they see that it's a $7.95. You can see all this at elevator to the top.com. 
It's a seven ninety five shipping and handling fee, right? It just covers the cost of me printing the book and getting it in the mail to them. And from there, though, once they pay for that, the, like most people, they drop off to like, yeah, I sold the book. But for me, I just took a loss on a fucking book. I just gave you a free book and you just cover the cost of printing and mailing it out. Like I still had to pay for the ad and the website and the fucking people to manage the shit. And so I'm taking a loss. So the first thing that I'm going to do is try to sell you something. I'm going to say, hey, here's my mastermind for $297 a month. That's the reinforcement. And so the reinforcement on my thing is saying, hey, here's this for $297. And the person has an, an opportunity to say, no, I'm not interested in that. And then we say, awesome. Well, here's a webinar for free. Check it out. Okay, so I'm giving them the reinforcement that they've made the right decision. They're in the right place. But since they're already spending money, I'm going to give opportunity to spend some more because, listen, the second money is the easiest money to get. The upsell is the easiest sale you will ever make. Most people, they stop after the first sale. But once somebody's opened their wallet to you, they're already familiar and used to opening their wallet with you. They'll do it again. And so the reinforcement's huge. Then after either somebody takes me up on the 297 offer or – they so they either take me up on the 297 offer or they go into the webinar uh then i'm giving them step three the third most important part is to let them know the next step taken okay now you're signed up check your email for more details okay now you're signed up check your email for more details thank you for signing up i'm ryan suman what i'd like for you to do now is go to your email and look inside like you can set it up however you want but you need to instruct them let them know them next steps taken okay what they're supposed to be doing and from here, this is the transition, the third transition from the, the top of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel. Because once we take them away from the website that they're on, right, the series, the landing page, the thank you page, the follow-up page, the upsell page, once we take them off of that series and we start trying to sell them through email, it's the bottom of the funnel. And now by bottom of the funnel, I want you to think of it this way. The top of the funnel is to get their information. The bottom of the funnel is to sell them on your shit. Okay, so if someone says no to the 297 offer, but yes to the webinar, the bottom of the funnel now is to sell them to get on the webinar. The webinar is part of the bottom of the funnel that should sell them on the product. If they said yes to the 297, the bottom of the funnel is getting them into the program and getting them started so they can start experiencing results and stick. So for having those first email steps is important because – once you know what decision they've made, you've got to keep following up. That doesn't mean that, hey, they just decided now that they don't want it and they're not going to buy it. So just leave them alone for forever. Turns out 93% of the people that you are going to sell to and that are going to become your clients aren't ready to buy right this second. So that means that you have to have follow-up. The email of first steps is that follow-up. So that's, that's, that's the fourth step. And the fifth step, this is the most important besides the first step, the hook. This is the second most important. This is relentless follow-up. Your funnel should never end until they opt out. You email them for five days, real hard, 10 days, real hard, 15 days, real hard, and then you hit them once a week for the rest of their fucking lives. You put a blitzkrieg on them in the beginning to where they're getting one or two emails every single day for the first five, 10, 15 days, and then you hit them up once a week. Relentless. It never stops. Relentless means it never stops. Here's the thing. 93% of the people that you are going to sell to that are going to be your clients aren't ready to buy right this minute. But if you don't follow up with them, they will forget your ass and they will not buy from you at all. So let's talk about the five keys to a successful funnel. Number one, the hook. If you can write this words, it's good. 45, 45, 10 rule. If you can do it in words, it's got to be powerful. The X, Y equation that I gave you for the offer. But if you can put it on video, it's even better. Number two, you need to have a reinforcement. Okay, you're here. You've done this. Good decision. Now you can also make other good decisions as well. Number three, the next step taken. Thank you for opting in. Here's what I want you to do next. Number four is the first part of the transition to the bottom of the funnel. It says here's what – it's the first email steps. It says here's what you're going to do now, right? You're going to go sign up for this webinar. You're going to be a part of this webinar. You're going to go log into the membership site in my case, whatever the key is. And then number five is relentless follow-up. Because eventually they will buy from you. One time I sent an email out and said, buy or die, motherfucker. No, don't lie. You wish you could say that shit too. I ain't got a boss to fire me. Uh, a Weber was a little pissed off about it because apparently some snowflake salespeople didn't find the humor in that. And uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> but relentless follow-up till they buy or die. My, my friend Brandy Whitmark, she says, until they give you one finger or the other, the thumbs up or the middle finger. And so the hook, the reinforcement, the next steps taken, bottom of the funnel, the first email steps, and relentless follow-up are the five keys to having 
a successful sales funnel. If you want to know more about sales funnel, how to build them, particularly for your business, go over to breakfreeacademy.com forward slash entourage. That's our mastermind. That's all we do. That's all we know. Funnels. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, thank you for listening to the show. Again, make sure you go over there, leave me a review, share this on social media, tell a friend about it, forward it, write it down on a note tied around the leg of a carrier pigeon, and uh, we'll see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.